Our collection started in 1913 with gifts from the sisterhood and women, and then it grew in 1926 with the Kirstein Purchase, and that had books, Ketubo, even the ark in our chapel that's used every day came from that collection, which is the nucleus of why this museum became one of the largest, most important Jewish museums. Well, there's nobody more important than Isaac Mir Wise to the reform movement and the Jewish world. I mean, portraiture was the way of remembering people in the 1800s. This particular portrait was done by a well-known artist at the time, John Aubrey, who painted many of the important personalities in Cincinnati. The scale alone, <laughs> you'll know he's an important person because it's like our own singer sergeant in the Jewish world. So if you look at his facial expression, you can just see wisdom. We're happy to share this again. I have a very strong Jewish background. My parents met at a Hebrew high school in Europe, and so they brought that culture with them to Cincinnati. I have a very, very good friend who was one of the docents, one of the early docents at Hebrew Union College, and she knew that the Gallery of Art and Artifacts was looking to expand their program, and she said, Judy, you should go apply for that job, and then it became history. And when we did the first photography exhibit, the staff here, the maintenance staff, would help me hang the exhibits. Did not have an installation crew. In fact, my nickname was Dead Eye because I, without a level, I could get the works in place the way I wanted them. They had very, very loyal volunteers. I think when I left here at my retirement, we had 38 docents at that time. I was very excited to be able to write a letter so that we could get a deaccession from the Bergen-Belsen Museum. This is the portrait of one of our famous, well-known, well-liked professors, and that's Werner Weinberg. A way of showing the public that portraiture was important in those dark days, and it gave dignity to a man who was had everything else to lose. Another exhibit that had a lot of influence in this city and gave us front page uh, stories in the paper was Ken Treister, who is the architect of the Miami in Florida Holocaust Memorial. So we had a premier exhibit of his work and President Gottschalk introduced him at the program. And it was a very outstanding day. We really have a more international name now that the B'nai B'rith collection has is merged with our collection. I think that gives a lot of credibility to who we are. You're never going to get away from good programming. The strength of your museum is education as well as community involvement. We can always do better. We are on the right track. We are doing really, really well right now.